Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. This is my musings video for the month of June. Uh, in these videos, I just do a little recap of what I'm up to, then show some pen stuff, uh, and then finish with the pens that I'm writing with right now. Uh, so, let's start with the stuff I'm doing away from the pen world. Um, so, as a lot of you know, I'm a, I'm a professional opera singer and uh, freelancing with companies around the place. Uh, and it's been a busy few months, uh, and right now I'm uh, about to open, well this weekend as this launches, this video goes live, I'm uh, we're opening a new production of Cosi Fan Tutte with a, a company here in Melbourne called Emotion Works who, um, as you might have seen in other videos, they intersperse other genres of music uh, into uh, the show. So this is like 1950s and some sort of early 60s rock and roll that gets sort of put into the show. So we get to have a, a fun time singing both Mozart and also a little bit of rock and roll stuff. So for instance, some of the songs in this show are things like Be My Baby, uh, All I Have To Do Is Dream, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, Unchained Melody and Love Me Tender and a bunch of things like that. So I get a little bit of Elvis, which is a lot of fun. Uh, also what I'm working on at the moment is uh, later this month I'm going down to Hobart in Tasmania to premiere a new work by Tasmanian composer uh, Don Kay. It's a really exciting project, it's always really great to premiere a new work but one that's been written uh, sort of with you in mind is always really really nice. Uh, so this is a completely new work with a new text and um, it's really interesting, it's with the Hobart Symphonic Wind Band um, which are a really great sort of A grade band down there who uh, do amazing things promoting new Australian music so it's really exciting. So that's what's sort of keeping me occupied this month in terms of my singing, uh, and uh, let's get moving on to pen stuff. So I've got some notes here just so that I can don't make sure I don't forget anything. So this month, uh, the f one thing that I did was a thing well, in May, sorry, was a thing called Robert Oster Month, where I featured Robert Oster inks on my Instagram, where I did one ink every day, uh, a different ink, so 31 inks across the month, uh, and I logged them all sort of in this uh, little notebook from A5 notebook from a uh, standard bindery here in Australia it uses Tomo River paper and so basically each day what I did was I sort of sam swabbed the ink and then wrote what it was what pen I was using and then took a photo of that with the pen and put it on Instagram. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, I had a lot of fun getting to know a few Robert Oster inks that I hadn't used in a while because for that day and for the days sort of around it that was they were the pens I was writing with so for May all I really wrote with was Robert Oster inks and a sort of a couple of others for things like reviews and things like that. But I thought it was interesting to, uh, to log how each one was received on Instagram. Uh, and so one of the, what I did was at the end, seven days after posting each ink, I took account of how many likes the photo had had and I've tallied up the sort of top five. Um, one high, like, highly commended that I want to put out there is Blue Water Ice. It didn't have the highest likes, it was up there, uh, but it garnered a lot of attention and people were commenting a lot, a lot on it and things like that. Um, but the top five in order were Tranquility, which was my number one, so that came in on the 31st of May. Then a surprise one was Velvet Crush, which is a new ink from this year. Uh, that got a lot of attention. Then of course Soda Pop Blue, uh, Cafe Kramer, and no surprises what was the most popular it was Fire and Ice, which was my number 10. Now, Fire and Ice is the thing that put Robert on the map, so I'm not surprised at all that that garnered so much attention and that people really, really appreciated that. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to use those inks and get to know them a bit better and find a few that I'd f forgotten a little bit about. Uh, Burgundy, for instance, um, you know, was it one that sort of surprised me. I really liked using that in my Parker 51. So yeah, always good fun to do thing, projects like that. If you didn't see it, go over to Instagram where I'm at the underscore offstage underscore me. You don't have to be a, a you don't have to sort of have an account to look at Instagram. You can just do it online. Um, you'll see these inks and the and the pens and stuff. And yeah, just if you don't know Robert's inks, check them out and look at the ones that I posted. And there's so many. I've sampled over 100. I think it was 120 or something. And that's not all of them. So lots there to look at. So now we move on to pen mail. Uh, and I've got a couple of things coming, which I'm really excited about. Like one sort of pen that was a Grail pen, and then suddenly it appeared somewhere, and I just bought it. Um, uh, and also the Twisby uh, ALR Purple, which uh, I also bought from Standard Binary, which has just been sent out a couple of days ago, so that should be arriving any time. Uh, really excited about that. But some things I got in the mail over the last month, uh, I got a few new inks that I was pr pretty excited about. Um, I wanted to get some inks, more inks from Papier Plume. Um, I think they're really nice, but I haven't been able to get hold of like the 
the special ones, just sort of the standard ones. So I got a few of those special ones. Um, we'll start with, um, so I got a red beans and rice. I love these bottles. Um, but yeah, so red beans and rice, House of the Rising Sun, uh, which you can see there, I'll put a close up of the, the bottle. Um, really great ink, as well as photos of uh, the inks themselves here. And the last one I got uh, was uh, Mardi Gras Indians Purple, which is a really nice purple ink. I'm really happy with that. Um, so nice inks, that they perform relatively well. I'm a little bit concerned about House of the Rising Sun. It seems to feather a bit on some paper. Um, so we'll see how that goes once I sort of get that into a pen. Other brand that I was really keen to try was Tatcha. Uh, and I got two Tatcha inks. One was the, I don't know how to say it, but AOL. And it's a blue, it's beautiful, beautiful blue. Uh, really vibrant and, and, and rich. Um, and then uh, I got Cha, which is sort of a nice sort of light brown, ready brown. Um, so nice colors, nice bottle. I quite like that sort of bottle. I'm not sure how easy it'll be to fill. I've filled so far one pen from one of them and it was okay because it's the Pilot Custom 823 where the breather hole's a little lower. Uh, but we'll have to see how we go. Um, but yeah, so, so I've got some nice things in the mail and then a, cu a couple of pens uh, that arrived. Now the first is the Visconti Breeze. Um, lovely pen. Just quickly show it here, just in comparison here with the uh, Visconti Mirage. So you can see sort of a little bit more the the difference in the pens. Like they're both, like the Mirage is faceted, but you know, they're the same sort of resin and they're, you know, sort of same sort of swell in the material and some very distinct sort of design features that go across the two. But uh, I think you can sort of see that they are very sort of different pens and both will be getting reviews and probably a shootout sort of style video sort of comparing the two. The other pen I got was, first time I've got a pen from this brand, it was Panida, and I got the Panida Avatar Ultra Resin. I can't remember the name of this sort of uh, finish, but it's sort of that grey brown and it's quite nice. Um, I really like it actually. Um, and the pen, you know, it's a nice pen. It's got sort of nice grip section, although it's a metal section, the shape of it fits quite nicely. Um, and it writes really, really well. So I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so yeah, those are the things that I've been getting in the mail. Okay, let's keep this video moving because uh, the writing samples of this takes a little bit, a little bit of time. Um, but I want to now talk about the pens that I have ink. Now, um, I'll start with the Estabrook uh, SD Medium Nib, um, still inked up from Robert Ossermonth with Soda Pop Blue. Next, I have my Pilot Custom A23, as I said, with a touch of ink, and it's Char. Um, perfect pen, really. Like it, perfect pen. That's all I'll say. Then I have my, still have my Twisby VAC 700R inked with the Diamine 18, 1864 blue black. Uh, this just keeps going and going. It's got a Bok titanium medium nib on it, which I love writing with. Then I have my Twisby Eco, uh, another Twisby. Uh, this is inked with the Diamine Colt Pens collaboration Robert, uh, which I'm reviewing. So you'll see that in a couple of weeks time. It's exciting. Love this ink, really love this ink. Like, I don't like sheening inks, but I do get this one. This one is good. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Then I have my Hero 9315 in the gun metal finish, which is a slightly different sort of pen. Um, uh, and I've inked this with Detrimentous Mouse Grey. Then I have the Visconti Mirage, of course, which uh, is also getting a review. Uh, on its own. This is inked with Diamine Colt Pens, another one of their collaborations. This one is the uh, Deep Dark Red. So those are the pens and inks I have inked up this week. We'll now do a quick sort of close-up uh, of them and then uh, you can see them writing. Okay, let's start the writing uh, sample portion of this video. Here we start with the Estabrook uh, SD here in a medium nib. This is Clairefontaine paper, by the way, if you're interested. Uh, we have here the so with a medium nib, and the ink here is Robert Oster School Blue, which is an ink I really, really enjoy. This was number two on my Robert Oster month. Um, so yeah, it's an ink I really love and I love this pen. Uh, a lot of people sort of 
have mixed feelings about the SD. Um, I really like it. Obviously, it's just got a Yovo nib, um, but I think the build quality is really nice. I think the material is quite nice. It is a little on the prop, maybe on the high side in terms of price, but uh, I really like it, so I'm not complaining. Next, I have the Pilot Custom 823, one of the great, great pens. Um, and this is with, what do we have here? We have the Pilot Custom 823 with a broad. And the ink here is Tatcha Cha. Lovely ink. Um, and this pen, you know, you can see it's wet, it's smooth, it lays down a lovely, lovely line. And I think it's a really nice match for this uh, for this ink. After that, I go to the uh, Twisby Vac 700 uh, R here with the Bok Titanium nib. This is a medium, as I said, it's a Bok Titanium. And the ink here is Diamine. I don't think that says Diamine, but you know what I mean. 1864 blue black. Um, nice nib. It's sort of a little bit sort of springy, but it's nice and wet. Um, it's got a nice sort of feedback on it, which I quite like. And even on this smooth paper, you feel it actually on the page. Next, we have the Twisby Eco. <clears throat> now, this is a broad nib. Uh, and the ink in here is Diamine Colt Pens. If you don't know Colt Pens, check out their, uh, rain, their shop online. Wonderful shop. Uh, and the ink here is Robert. Now, as you can see, this is a lovely sort of magenta -y sort of colour. Um, lovely sort of shade there. It's just beautiful. Quite nice and rich. Um, but I don't know if it's sort of coming up just yet, but you can see the sheen there that you get on this ink. And I love that sheen. I'm not a huge sheen fan, but that sheen really works for me. Two to go. Next we have the Hero. Now, this is obviously modelled of a Parker Sonnet. Um, this is actually my pen of the week this week, uh, which is exciting because uh, I don't use it as much as I'd like to. Uh, Hero 9315. It does struggle on super smooth paper. I will say that now. Uh, it is a fine nib, but quite a generous fine. And the ink is De Atramentus Mouse Grey. When it's writing on this paper, it's beautiful. And this ink is just lovely. I love grey inks. Um, and this one's a really nice one. Oh, just got a little bit of uh, Robert in there with that. Try a different finger. There we go. Um, yeah, but really lovely ink, lovely pen. A pen I like. I like the Parker Sonnet model, but I love that finish. And lastly, we have the Visconti Mirage. And this is also a broad. And the ink here is Diamine. Colt pens. Deep, dark, red. we oh, just squeezed it in there. Um, this ink, like it's, it's almost sort of a brownie colour. It sort of reminds me a little bit of things like uh, Oxblood or, um, yeah, some of those sort of lovely rich dark reds that I might have. And for this one, I don't know, it's quite nice. I just really like it. Um, yeah, so those are the pens that I'm writing with. I'll just quickly recap those as we scroll down the page. So we have the Estabrook SD in a medium nib with Robert Oss's School Blue, Pilot Custom 823 with a broad nib. Um, with uh, Tatcha Cha, the Twisby Vac 700R with a Bok Titanium Medium Nib with Diamine 1864 Blue Black, Twisby Eco with a Broad Nib uh, with Diamine Colt Pens at Robert, the Hero 9315, which is my pen of the week this week, with Detrimentus Mouse Grey, and the Visconti Mirage also with a Broad Nib uh, with Diamine Colt Pens Deep Dark Red. Something there for everyone. Well, that was my musings for this month. You've got to see what I'm writing with. I'd love to know what you're writing with, uh, what you've got coming in the mail, what you've recently got. Drop comments sort of down below with all that sort of stuff. We love sort of involving in the community. Um, it's, yeah, I, I like doing these videos. It gets to, I get to talk a little bit about, you know, what's happening in my world, and uh, but I really want to know what's happening in yours. So 
check me out on Instagram and Twitter at that, the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, drop me messages here, drop me emails, all the stuff's listed below. Um, if you've got products that you think I should be looking at, let me know. If you've got a way you'd like to support the channel, let me know and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.